Okay, so hi there Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. This is your July 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, uh, for the month of July, I'm doing things a little bit of differently wherein I'm just, you know, posting in a very short and brief reading wherein we check in with the energies in place for the month of July and how this might influence us with our love life and our relationship or personal lives for that matter um, and how we may navigate that in a positive way or no matter how much you guys choose it to be um, so that it gives you insight and clarity to your situation so again this is still going to be a general reading so it may be specific for some for some it's going to be very general and quick it's definitely going to affect a lot of Aquarius one way or another not always in the same way but the general idea is going to be the same because what I'm doing right now is very similar to my recast method wherein we just, you know, check in the major energies that are in place. So regardless whatever deck I use right now, they are all giving me the same message. So I do apologize for the late upload on my videos uh, for this month because I really uh, am having a hard time to speak right now with my throat and my vocal cords. So hopefully next month that is going to be resolved. But um, yeah, please do bear with me <laughs> with the way I speak at this time. So um, yeah, uh, let's get on to the details with the, this Aquarius reading because I really find it very interesting because among all of the signs that I've done, um, this is the only sign wherein the man and the man and the woman card actually showed up in this reading. So that can really be, you know, a significant factor for a lot of Aquarius people out there. But first of all, let's check in with the seven of pentacles. Now this is uh, a card of patience, of waiting, or frustration one way or another. And if we take a look on the overall card or overall reading to this, there's a huge emphasis for so much nervous energy going on. So ideally, you know, the mice and the clouds can give a lot of nervous action, nervous energy, and even even with the mirroring of this mice and the man card, so whether you're a man or a woman, there is an energy here of, you know, being anxious, nervous, all at the same time. Um, being fickle is a possibility all at the same time. And as we progress here, we do have the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. So it gives me a feeling here we're in maybe um, you're waiting on something, thinking about something, but at the same time, you are desiring an idea or there's something that you want to accomplish, you want to do, you want to begin, you want to grab hold on. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this is something that you cannot do immediately at the very least within the month of july so there is definitely a goal here there is definitely a desire that we are seeing but at the same time you cannot achieve this at the very least not right now but you might have plans you might decide on taking action and that maybe in the future but right now you're looking into the possibilities However, there is also a chance here that, you know, you might be having a lot of pessimistic thoughts here and there um, surrounding this energy because we do have the mice and the clouds surrounding this, you know, it's at the focal point of this reading in, and this might be an energy of clarity later on, but right now this is about you maybe thinking about your partner thinking about a relationship or being confused or thinking about someone missing someone maybe so um i'm thinking of other ways that this can um be applied to everyone so this can be a situation wherein someone is very scared very fearful for 
one reason or another and there is a communication that is not coming through or at the very least there is uh, I don't know maybe there is fogs with how the relationship is being connected it could be with um, this could be a situation wherein there are mishaps between you and certain person and you might be wanting to connect with that person to start something with that person maybe to initiate contact start a new beginning with that person but you don't know if that is the right choice to make we do see here the possibilities that there is go definitely going to be improvement and communication um, progression in the future we do see that very clearly but right now you are in the fog so this is not really something that I see you creating change so big within the month you know it's like it's something that's in your mind you're we are planting it in your mind it's something that maybe you are preparing but you're not acting upon it and it's okay because maybe this is the wise choice to make and we also have here you know virgo and the sign of rahu yeah rahu and in the first house and you know virgo is v very much ruled by by mercury and virgo has a tendency to you know can make someone think a little bit too much wherein they think about the pros and the cons what's not and they end up thinking of what's not gonna work so there there could be tendencies for that this can also be a situation wherein um maybe um a relationship is being lost or you know because we do have this uh demise and the clouds with this woman card so this person might be lost or maybe you have you don't have any contact with that person for quite some time now so yeah and maybe that is why you wanted to connect with them all those kinds of things so um yeah eventually though there is going to be answers that is going to be revealed to you but now is the time for you to maybe reconnect with what you are truly feeling and you know activate that romantic factor inside of you on what you can do to to have this relationship back if it is about a relationship from the past there's also a possibility that this is you know someone that you don't have you don't know you never had any contact with and maybe you are wanting to pursue them however i kind of feel that you know there is a huge possibility that whatever this is you're making a decision that you have been hesitating for quite a long time so it has been some time because we are dealing with the seven of pentacles over here so this is not something that you just bump into um a day before or a month before or so this is something that you you are dealing with it, it could be a burden it could be something that's in your mind for quite a bit of time already and you are making your plans and pushing that through again this is not something that you can achieve within the month but you are in the right track you are in that zone wherein yes you are feeling a lot of fears yeah yes you're feeling anxious but at the same time there is an element here of positivity wherein you are also ready to take action ready to take some form of risk so it, it kind of feels like a very mixed energy wherein you're you wanted to do a lot of things but at the same time you don't want to um do so much changes you you want to take one step at a time and for you this is about figuring out what you are truly feeling and if this is really what you want to pursue to achieve all those kinds of things so um yeah let me get just a few cards for my oracle for those that are in the sign of aquarius what advice we might have Okay, let me go and see. 
Okay, so we have here keep your eyes on target intentions. And we have here Desiree, we're in, it's telling us, you know, that focus on what you really, really want, focus on your desire and what you want to achieve. And, you know, you also need to take on the bigger picture of what you really want. And Desiree is telling us that, you know, this is not the right time to take action. So yes, this is not the time for you to take any action at all because, you know, uh, the situation right now is very much not favorable we're in there's a lot of confusion in the air and if you do take action right now it might not really go anywhere so it might be something that could be quite devastating to you at the end it's telling us here to wait and look for other options right now or you know take another look or be more sure of what you really really want Th basically is what is being shown to us here again with the um the influence of the clouds and the mice cards here influence of both the man and the woman there's a lot of confusion going on here so taking action right at this moment in time may lead to nowhere this is the time for you to really figure out on what you truly feel what you truly want and if it's something that you really really want to pursue or redo once again to complete something once again to revive something once again but i do feel that you know instead of looking into the past i kind of feel that you're moving into the future because we do remember that um this person is looking to towards the future and ideally um the man and the woman is facing each other you know they're looking in the same direction to each other so it gives me that kind of feeling so this can be a situation where maybe a relationship that has gone off path before but you are thinking of clearing the air all those kinds of things those are just a possibilities here but um, the basic message that this is really telling us for you Aquarius out there is that there is confusing energy in the air right now and you really really need to think rethink of your goals there's something that you want to achieve but it will take time so you really need to make sure that you're not just being fickle <laughs> with the decisions that you're making especially with the matters of the heart so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me for this reading and hopefully my voice will be better by next month and yeah i'll see you guys again and